Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So it's day 32 of our death mode let's play and this will be somewhat of a final episode. I always like to give my series open-ended episodes so that I can continue if a new update comes out but I guess if we're talking for real that this will be the final episode because we're going to move on to a new series very soon and I'm going to reveal some more information about that. Of course it's Terraria, of course it's modded, but we'll talk about that more soon. I'm going to take a little break after this to uh, to basically just get a little bit of a refresher on Terraria, just a couple of days, and then we'll be getting something new, which is pretty exciting. I'm really excited to do that. So we have done so much in this mod. I'm so proud of this Let's Play. This without a doubt has been my favorite Let's Play that I've ever recorded. And it's been one of the fastest Let's Plays I've ever done. So in 32 episodes, look how far we have come. It's actually crazy. You may think it was my fastest Let's Play, but it's technically not. Because I actually beat Moonlord in a expert mode yo-yo playthrough about five episodes quicker than I did it in this series. Which is kind of hard to believe. But that's obviously because we've got loads more bosses. It's so mad. Like, I remember how insane it was to fight the slime king for the first time in death mode like i remember just how like just how exciting it was to use adrenaline for the first time and then going all the way down like i really really enjoyed the aquatic scourge i thought he was awesome i loved slime god i really really liked leviathan even though i had a big bulky version i really liked uh <laughs> i liked what they did with the moon lord i thought that was ace I really liked Poltergast. I thought DOG was awesome. I thought Yaren was great as well. I thought Yaren was a really fun fight. I just had so much fun in this Let's Play. Like, I really did. I'm so proud of myself as well for making it through to the end as well. So, today's episode is about the Lord. Now, don't worry. I'm not going to sit here and tell you about Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, we're going to do the Lord boss. So, this is actually a meme boss that Calamity added. It's not actually intentionally meant to be fought. It's a secret boss. And I believe they're actually removing it from the game at some point. I know they, they removed it for a little bit. And then they changed their name. And then they added it back in. So I don't know where this boss stands. But the reason why most people don't fight it is because it has a random AI selector. So it will select either a random boss or a random enemy to actually use its AI. And it will continuously do that throughout the fight. So it gets harder and harder and harder. If it hits you, you basically die. So a lot of people don't fight it because it's complete RNG. You could get one that is like a green slime, for example, for the entire fight. Or... You could get one that's like Plantera that enrages because it's out of the jungle. Then it turns into Duke Fishron, enrages even more. Then turns into a Nebula Core and then actually starts teleporting around every time you hit it. So you just never know. I'll give it a few good attempts. If I don't beat it, I'm not too bothered about it because it's not like an actual boss. You'll see why in a minute. So you spawn it using the No You item, which is a little meme in itself. No You. Uh, you get this from boulders in the temple. They just spawn everywhere. One of these is all you need. I've got about 10 of them now because I didn't realize that. And yeah, so before we begin, we're actually going to take a look at some more weapons. So let's get our shadow spec out. I actually got a bunch more shadow spec so that we could make some of the final weapons. So let's take a look. One of the things I really want to make is the crystal crusher. So I need to make a blossom pickaxe. I should be able to make one of these straight away. But actually, do you know what? I might even... I might even have one. Let me think about that. Have I got a Blossom? No, okay, right. I've got a Blossom Flux. I like the Blossom Flux. Right, let's see. Blossom... Blossom... Oh my god. Blossom Pickaxe. Make one of these. And then we can now make the Crystal Crusher. If I put this inside of there. So, Crystal Crusher. This has 5,000% Pickaxe power. This is insane. I've made this before in the past, and people went absolutely nuts for it. You'll love it. All right, let's go down to uh, to wherever you want to ruin your world, right? Basically, but you ready? Look at that. That is insane. And obviously, you can speed this up using uh, mining potions and stuff. I mean, just look at that. That is brilliant, isn't it? Totally wrecking this world. Okay. Hey, what's that? Oh, a little chest. What we got? Oh, Hermes boots. Nice. I think it's... No, I'm just kidding. 
Uh, but yeah, so I wanted to make that. And then there was another sword I wanted to make, and I believe a gun. So we'll see. Let's see. Right. What's this? Uh... Oh, I want to make the fab staff. I made this. I was just messing around last night, and I made this. <laughs> and I was like, what on earth is that? Like, obviously added as a total meme. This is one of the final weapons as well. Look, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a little bit surprising when you first see it, if you weren't expecting it. It's like, what? So, I'm going to make the fab staff. Fab staff. So, I don't know what it does. I'm quite excited to see it. I'm hoping it's a summoning weapon. Oh, okay. It's not a summoning weapon. Right, let's uh let's put on the talisman. Let's take a mana have I got a mana pot? No, I haven't, right. But this is what it does, and it obviously bounces around. That's kinda cool. That's alright. That's pretty interesting, I guess. I thought it was gonna be Mimi like this. Right, what's next? So, I wanted to make the Draconic Destruction. So, I need to make a blade before that. No, wait. Do I? No, I can make this. Draconic Destruction. Alright, we'll make that and we'll put that up here. And then there was another one. I think it was called... Was it called Earth? No, I wanted to make the Red Sun. This, is one of, this was one of my favorite ones back in the day. So I need to make a Forsaken Blade. Forsaken Blade? I can make one of these. Awesome. And then I need to make Red Sun. Yeah, back in the day, this was my actual favorite thing. Red Sun. Bam. Okay, it's smaller, but I don't think that really matters. So hopefully they haven't changed it because I really liked it. These, by the way, are throwing in melee. I didn't realize this yesterday. I don't know why I was being so dumb because I knew that as well. Oh, the Contagion. Do I have a Phantasm? Or do you make the phantasm? Oh, you make the phantasm. Okay. Let's make a phantasm. And then let's make the contagion. Contagion. Awesome. Right. And then let's get out of here a quiver. Let's get both the quivers. Yeah, I want to see what the contagion does. Because I didn't actually check out a bow yesterday. And I really did want to. So let's put that on. Let's get rid of that and that. Let's put this here. Have I got anything else? No, this will be fine. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's really interesting, actually. That's really cool. Oh, yeah, I also got a bunch of comments asking if I could now beat Supreme Calamitous in death mode because of my new weapons and armor. So, I, don't, I didn't do a very good job of explaining this. The fight really doesn't depend on your weapons and your damage. What it depends on is actually dodging the bullets. You have a 10 hit cap. If you get hit 10 times, the fight ends. Like, it doesn't matter how much health you've got or anything like that, the fight literally ends. So when people were recommending all these mad weapons and all these different setups and stuff, it really didn't matter because ultimately it came down to the fact that I couldn't dodge perfectly for 5 minutes or 6... It, well, actually it was about 6.5. You have to dodge perfectly for 6.5 minutes and I was not good enough to do that because of the number of projectiles that were spawning and it got harder and harder throughout the fight. That's why I couldn't do it. But I did go back and try it with all my extreme awesome weapons and I still died at the exact same point that I died with my normal weapons. So... That just kind of goes to show you. So I'm not too bothered about actually going back and redoing it. Because I just, I'm so sick of that fight. I hope you understand. Right, okay. So what I want to check out, this. The Draconic Destruction. Fires a Draconic Sword Beam that explodes into additional beams. Additional beams fly up and down to shred enemies. Right, let's go back to this. Okay, you ready? Ooh, ooh, nice. Ooh, I love that. That is nice. I like that. And then what's this one? The Red Sun? Yeah, this this was my fave back in the day because it would absolutely maul everything. Yeah, it looks a little bit different than back in the day. It looks a little bit more, uh, I don't know, it looks better, I guess. Oh, look at that. That is insane. I love it. I love Endgame Calamity. I just do. Right, so that is it for all that. Let's go check out Lord. So I'm going to buff up. I'm going to show you this fight. Do remember, guys, that it's not meant to be taken literally. It's not actually a challenge. It's just meant to be like a little fun meme -y thing. Alright, so the minimap doesn't actually show you where it is. Okay, let's see what we get. Whoa! Alright. <laughs> Alright, so that time... Oh look, it's Plantera now. 
And now it's the Lunatic Cultist. I'm not going to do that for all my fights, though, because if I keep naming what the AI is, I'm going to get bored. Right, let me show you again. And this just goes to show you why I don't think Lord is an actual possibility. Now that I actually think about it. Right, let's zoom out this time. I love the jungle spores on this. The contagion does look really good, doesn't it? I always, uh, I never use bows in the thumbnail because bows are really hard to align with thumbnails that I make, but I always think bows look great. Swords are always the best. Everyone clicks on pictures of swords because swords look awesome, don't they? And I agree with that. Right, let's get a, uh, let's get an archery potion while I'm here. Go on. While we got time to kill. But yeah, I'll do this like two, three more times, but once again, it isn't meant to be actually serious. I forgot just how unserious it is. Let's just say it like that. Okay, this time it's staying still. Okay, now it's enraged Plantera. If you step too far away from it, by the way, it does literally run away. Uh, it despawns. Okay, I don't know what I got killed by. I got killed by a seed. Right. This is probably wasn't the best weapon because I couldn't actually tell what it was going on. It sounds like the dying lunatic cultist. Sometimes it'll stick around, sometimes it doesn't. No. I have actually covered this on Chippy Gaming before, if you do want to see it. I never beat it on there either, though, so... <laughs> right. I am in death mode, by the way. I swap back. Right. Buff up. We'll do this one more time. I want to check out what the red sun can do to it. But we're going to fight some, like, loads of bosses at once in a minute. It's going to be like a fun little action-packed thing in a sec. Right. Okay. But I'm so excited to start the next series. I am going to talk about that soon after a little break. But I want to do a Cuphead next. I want to do something on Cuphead. I was going to do Dark Souls, and I decided I'd probably want to do Cuphead instead. Right, okay. No you. Okay. I'm glad that they changed the name of this boss again, because it used to be something that basically just, uh... It was just a... It had a lot of swear words in it. Now, obviously, I don't mind using swear words, but I don't in my videos, because... We have some younger audience members watching, and I don't want you guys to not be able to watch around your family and stuff, so... Oh god, that no you buff. This, if you get hit once, that's it. So as you can see, this is why people don't fight it. it. It is pretty interesting, but I can see why they're not so, uh... Yeah, it was added as an actual joke. But it is cool, though. I like the concept. I wish they would dial it back a bit and actually turn it into a real boss. I really do. Because I think it could be really fun. But it is, at this current state, it's too much of a joke. And I wish it wasn't, in all honesty, right? Let's try out the Fab Staff. So we'll go to Mana. I guess this is probably not the, the best area for a Fab Staff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up into the sky. Yeah, I'm going to bring it into here. Because in here, it can at least uh, bounce around off the walls a little bit. Yeah, let's give it let's give it a go in here. But this will be my final attempt of this. Yeah, I really forgot. How, I hyped this boss up, forgetting how it was actually meant to go down. Right, no you. Alright, she around? He around? I don't know what it is. I don't really... Oh, oh, I haven't got mana potion. I haven't got a mage combination, right? I should probably swap back to, uh, to the bow. Oh, no, it despawned. Alright. See, like, for example, it can decide that it's gonna stay on the ground for a little bit. Do you get what I mean? And then you've despawned it. Let's try it here. Oh, what setup have we got again? Is it this one? Okay, so this time it's got an actual golem head, and it's got golem fists. Now, every single projectile that it spawns out will do the no you debuff. So if the golem head hits you, that's what you get. Now, in a second, it could turn into Plantera, for example. Oh, what is, what's it turning into? Oh, I like the little loop it does, but it is pretty hard to avoid. Ah! Yeah, it, it, it is pretty impossible, but uh, I'm sure some people have done it. Alright, so now that the Lord is out of the way, we're going to do some, like, big mega fights. I'm going to try and get as many in an area as I can. I just need to figure out exactly the, uh, the actual ratio of bosses that you're allowed in this mod. So, basically, like, some spawn in certain biomes, some spawn during the day, some spawn during the night. I'm going to try and get as many possible, and, uh, and I'll let you know how that goes, but I'm, I'm super pumped. Alright, so the first setup we have is this one. Uh, I'm going to show you this in a second. Let me just take some stuff out of my hot power. I've got a lot going on. I wasn't sure exactly what weapon to use. I'm debating... Oh, I'm debating the fab stat. Actually, no. I'm going to go for the uh, for the hammer. So let me show you what I can spawn. I, I know I can spawn these all at once. 
And I guess I'll auto pause it as we go along. So let's give this a go. So okay, okay. So that's one. Got Plantera. This one. I really don't know what what's gonna actually spawn and what won't. If I'm honest. Okay. Put these on the hot bar. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm not surviving very well. I need to start killing some bosses to get some health. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, give me some health. All right, which ones have stayed around? I can't even... <laughs> I couldn't even tell. <laughs> but they're all the jungle ones that you can do. That was... <laughs> that was interesting. Yeah, okay. So which ones I actually managed to kill? I got Gollum. I got Plantera. I got the uh, Skeletron Prime, Queen Bee. Did I get anything else? What's this? The Crusher. Oh, cool. All right. So I only got one, two. Yeah, I only got four bosses that time. Well, that was pretty interesting. But I guess I didn't kill, like, Bumblebird, did I? Or, um. Well, what's the other one? Did I spawn the Ravager in as well? I guess I wouldn't have got the Ravager either. Oh, I had a mechanical worm. Oh my god, that, that is brutal. Right, let's do some uh, let's do some nighttime bosses now, so we can grab some ones that we can actually. Oh, actually, do you know what? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Right, let me let me get something together and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so here's what I've got planned. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen bosses at once. Let's give it a go. So, the plan is, you spawn this one, this one, alright, that didn't work, and this one, all in one area, and then, you bring them into here, and then you can spawn this one, actually, I need to set it to night time, then you can spawn this one, this one, that one, this one, this one, oh my god, I'm gonna die, I don't wanna die, this one, this one, and that one, all at once. Okay, use some rage. Try and get some health. Okay, hopefully there'll be some health on the floor. Now, I don't know exactly which ones got spawned in and which ones didn't. Because, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I couldn't really tell. But we'll check in a minute when we see the uh, the little death bags or whatever. Oh my god, what is going on? I'm so close to death. Oh, what? So which ones did I get then? I feel like I got a lot of them. I feel like I got a lot. It's kind of hard to do this. I wish they had, back in the day, I can't remember what mod I used to have, but it would spawn all the bosses at once. All right, so let's get rid of the uh, the other stuff. So I got Plaguebringer Goliath. So we know that we got that. So we also got Queen Bee. Which one's that one? Ravager? That's Ravager, right? So we got the Ravager. Uh, got the Twins. Got, I can't remember which one that drops from. Oh, I didn't even get to spawn some of the... Oh, I guess this one... Wait, does that one... Oh, that's a consumable. I can't remember which one that one was. <laughs> There's so many bosses in Calamity. I'm guessing that's the slimes. The slime gods or whatever. Wow. And then that's a mechanical boss? Yeah, alright. That was pretty cool. Right, well, I guess that does it for uh, for this series, at least. Of course, if there is any more updates, any new bosses, I'll be sure to cover them in the future. If I get a really good idea for an episode, I'll be sure to do it as well. But for now, I just want to say thank you all for watching. I wanted to share a clip with you guys to kind of end off on. Basically, when I started this death mode series, I was really nervous to do it because I didn't think I'd actually be good enough to even make it through the mod. And there was one point in episode one when something happened, and I thought... Why did I even start this? I remember, like, it something happened, and I was like, this just shows how awful it's going to be. But uh, it turned out to be amazing, and I really did love this series. So enjoy this little clip, and that's it. Ooh, have we got any shuriken or anything? We've got granadas. Got granadas, okay. Wow. Wow, I really underestimated how much of a challenge this would be. Jesus. Right, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, be sure to leave a like rating on the episode. Let's try and get this one the most liked episode since it is the grand finale. Right, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.